back upstairs now after the relining which you've seen in previous films and I've started doing some of the retouching of the losses and damages and one of the first things I've done is to start to put in some of the color to simulate uh, Artemisia's priming layers, her ground around the uh, edges where there are larger losses or indeed in this case additions and I think that's a good uh, starting point to discuss questions of the format of the picture because I think you notice that it is quite a square picture and the format is an unusual quality of her works at this time and that's one of the things we've had to think about in terms of how we put the picture back together. I mean, I think we knew quite early on that um, the picture had probably been reduced a little along the top. It is really odd that the, the pearl on this sort of pinnacle here, it, it sort of cut through. Um, but it, the question was sort of how much? And obviously, during the relining process, we looked at physical evidence on the back, on the canvas itself. I mean, also, uh, as a curator, you hope there's some sort of visual evidence, so an engraving after a picture or a drawing or, or some sort of visual record. And unfortunately, in this case, there really isn't. So we really had to go on weighing up the evidence and instinct a bit as well. So as we look at the canvas itself as, a, as an object, we can gather certain ideas, certain evidence that help us understand the format. One of the things we look for is a sort of pattern of what we call cusping or scalloping and that's when the canvas has got a rather squiggly pattern in the canvas weave and that's caused by the initial distortion of stretching the canvas before any of the underlayers went on when the canvas was first being prepared for painting and when that priming layer goes on or layers go on it has the effect of locking in these kind of distortions in the canvas and uh, and when you see those kind of squiggly lines, that scalloping, it's usually very good evidence that you are at or near an original edge that was turned over. In this case, this whole strip coming down the side, we know from evidence looking at the back during relining, was part of an edge that went around the strainer and was subsequently folded out during an old lining. So we have good evidence of that uh, contour scalloping on the right side and at the bottom, and we can be quite confident about those being more or less, um, in this case, definitely the, the original contours, the original edges. On the other sides, left and top, we have less of that scalloping. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that those edges are missing quite a lot. Sometimes you could infer that, but sometimes these canvases were primed in much larger sizes and then trimmed afterwards. So the absence of scalloping doesn't necessarily mean you're missing a bit. But this is one of those interesting things where you think about weighing up uh, physical evidence and then comparing it to other works and thinking about a kind of general taste and period um, inclination and compositional interest, uh, particularly where she's concerned in Florence. Especially at this time, yeah. because looking at other pictures from this period in Florence, um, they're all very tightly cropped, they're quite square in format, not, not exactly square like this one is, but um, she's obviously filling up the canvases right to their very edges. And as you said, this is absolutely its original um, lower edge. And look how closely that sleeve, you know, um, almost abuts um, that edge. I mean, you and I aren't in total agreement about the left. Yeah. I feel there's a little bit more missing, um, but we took the view after lots of consideration to actually not add something there where we don't really no, for certain it was there, but I think it's reasonable to assume that at the top, you know, she wouldn't have left, you know, half a pearl. Yeah. Um, and, you know, whether there was only a centimetre, two centimetres, an inch, we just don't know that. And I think, I think the decision we've made is a measured one, mm -hmm. and it's something, obviously, that's not <laughs> irreversible, you know, um, and we, it can always be framed out. I mean, that's what we're going to do here. The frame will, in fact, cover that. Um, and I feel also um, that... The tight cropping is sort of intrinsic to this moment in her art. Yeah. Um, it's not just a compositional thing, but it brings that figure right into the foreground and kind of makes the connection with the figure much stronger. And this white sleeve, which we've talked about before, especially now that she's been cleaned, you can see the white of her sleeve sort of jut out and you really feel the projection of this. Uh, and I think that working together with this very tight composition, it's a very, very um, you know, intentional thing on behalf of Artemisia. And I think these decisions are going to become even more important and more telling when we get around to trying out frames and framing because the tight crop working in a frame really will do very interesting things, uh, quite powerful things, I think, to the illusionism of how the picture is fitted in, in this shape. So, I mean, we've taken the view that, although we can't know for sure if the halo was completed, we certainly feel pretty confident that this pattern of jewels must have been completed in this one. So we've decided in the first instance to 
to reconstruct, and you'll see that as the retouching progresses, uh, a band across the top of about between one and a half and two centimeters, which I will uh, reconstruct to match the surrounding paint. Finishing this jewel, taking the halo, and still having a slight crop at the top of halo, and finishing the palm frond. And, and then we've decided, I think, and, and, and I, I certainly believe that um, the idea of finishing that jewel is enough to complete the composition satisfactorily, and we can always you know, leave it a, a slightly unknown open question as to how much more might have been there, but it feels measured and reasonable uh, in terms of getting the picture to work properly, mm -hmm. and in keeping with this idea of these tight crops we see in other works from this time. Mm -hmm.